Lanka, 20 million people and 5,000 elephants vie for land. Conflict is inevitable. For millennia, elephants have played a central role in Asian culture, religion and the economy. But in recent times, human population expansion has drastically reduced elephant numbers. Space for elephants has shrunk and damage to crops and homes is a growing problem. Even more serious is the loss of life. Human-elephant conflict takes an annual toll of about 50 people and 150 elephants. Dr. Pruthu Fernando, founder of the Centre for Conservation and Research, has found the standard approach of forcing elephants to stay within protected areas and removing them from others is ineffective. Elephants know no borders and return to the mosaic of regenerating forest and open areas typical of seasonal agriculture at the park borders. Pruthu has demonstrated scientifically for the first time that Sri Lanka's elephant population cannot survive in protected areas alone. Working with local communities and other stakeholders, Pruthu is developing new approaches. He has persuaded the Forest Department to begin opening its land to elephants, paving the way to providing official protection to two-thirds of the current elephant range. At farms, locally made fences make it possible to protect paddy fields whilst allowing large neighbours to pass by. Pruthu's new approach does more than reduce conflict. He's changing the way policy makers think and encouraging a change in attitude to conservation, not just within protected areas, but across Sri Lanka's landscape. <laughs>